Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and I'm back with another video. Guys, I went to the Illinois Midseason Showdown uh, this Saturday and I did pretty well actually. You know, I went there with my Galissapod team that I've been hyping up for a little bit uh, and always talking about, yeah, it's going to be good, it's going to be good. And honestly, I didn't expect to do all that well, but uh, I took fifth place, so I was pretty proud of that. I top cut, um, I was in fifth and I got knocked out by Diana Bros, which is nothing to be ashamed about. Um, of course, she is last year's regional champion for the uh, Madison Regional Championships, which was pretty fun. You know, it was pretty fun battling her. It was fun battling a whole lot of people. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing, like this week, uh, don't expect any normal videos. It'll be pretty much just me recapping my uh, my run at the mid-season showdown. So I'll be going through all of my best of three sets, um, you know, one by one. And uh, one of my matches is actually on live stream instead of going over that match. I don't have the replay because I had to use their capture DS. Um, I'll actually just be showing you guys the Twitch VOD and yeah. Well, let's get into it. This is the team that I've been hyping up forever. Uh, the Glisspot squad, of course. <laughs> of course. I just, I had a weird lisp at the end of that, but whatever. Uh, let's get into it. This is uh, the Tapu Lele. Uh, I should go over the, well, I, I'll just go over it. As they go, I was gonna list off all the Pokemon, but whatever. Here's the Tapu Lele that was on my team. I'm running Protect Psychic Moonblast Thunderbolt uh, with a modest nature, 4 HP, 252 special attack, 252 speed, and the Life Orb, of course. Um, and that is actually it's my main damage dealer of the team. Life Orb Tapu Lele is insanely strong, being able to Oko things like uh, Garchomp and Tapu Koko, unless the Tapu Koko is Assault Vest, which you guys will see in one of my videos. Uh, or one of my battles, um, but I won't go over all the calcs. Um, you guys can kind of calc those yourselves and give you guys the team for you guys uh, to use on your own. I'll go over a couple of things I specifically EV'd for, uh, but this is a pretty standard life orb attacker. Of course, you always run a modest. If you want to run them, uh, if if you want to run them with a speed boosting nature, that's uh, that's a little weird. I mean, it's understandable for outspeeding uh, particular threats, but I, you know just. I like the sheer damage output of it, especially since it's on a Tailwind team, it helps out a lot. Uh, Thunderbolt, of course, being for things like Araquanid and uh, Celesteela, you know, uh, and Psychic and Moonblast being my main stab attack. Psychic uh, being able to knock out Tapu Koko in Psychic Terrain and Moonblast being able to knock out Garchomp. Uh, next up in the team is going to be my Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp is actually going to be running 252 attack. Uh, <laughs> zero defense, zero HP, zero defense, uh, two, <laughs> I can't even speak, zero special attack, four special defense, and 252 speed with a speed boosting nature. Uh, of course, it's Jolly and Choice Scarf. Uh, it's got Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Rock Slide, Poison Jab, and the Rough Skin ability. Uh, the reason I'm running it Choice Scarf is because things like Tapu Koko really threaten my Town Flame, and the fact that I have a Town Flame makes it obvious that I'm going to Tailwind. And that makes him think, oh, well, that means I can outspeed the uh, the Garchomp. And maybe it's fine if I just, you know, trade off my Tapu Koko for, you know, getting rid of his Tailwind because maybe my team's faster than his. Um, well, that kind of psychs him out. They make him, it makes him think that I don't have the Choice Scarf, which, in fact, I actually do. Uh, I Oko uh, every form of Tapu Koko except for one particular one, which you guys, again, will see in a replay. Um, and, yeah, it just... It helps with Talonflame. Talonflame switches in on my Earthquake, so I don't hurt the rest of my team. Uh, Dragon Claw being uh, my main stab move besides Earthquake, uh, a single at attacking stab move. Um, Rock Slide being just a spread move in case I really, really need flinches. Uh, and Poison Jab being great for hitting Tapus like Tapu Bulu, Tapu Finny, and Tapu Lele. <laughs> I couldn't even think. Uh, of course, because I outspeed all of them. And yeah, the Choice Scarf, it's a standard Choice Scarf set, um, like the last three Pokemon are really what I focused on, or the last four Pokemon are really what I focused on EVing particularly, um, but yeah, this is a pretty standard Pokemon. Uh, let's get into some more interesting things. Uh, my Assault Vest Kartana, this actually isn't my set, uh, I borrowed the set from a video I watched by, uh, you guys might know him, you know, just, uh, Ray Rizzo. Yeah, he, uh... If you guys aren't aware, he has won world championship multiple times. Uh, I think he has retired. I can't really tell. But yeah, this Kartana has 4 attack, 72 HP, 48 defense, 132 special defense, and 252 speed with a jolly nature. Uh, and the assault vest, of course. Uh, those EVs, um, I'll leave a link in the description about what they do. But 
like just so you guys see it entirely. Uh, but it, in summary, it Oko's um, pretty much every Raichu except for one that I face. I face some really weird teams, but that's what you get in a mid-season showdown. Um, you get either very standard stuff or very interesting things that do well. Uh, I'm lucky to have fallen into the latter half of that. Uh, 72 HP just helps you live in general, you know, boosting your HP um, because it's like such a low stat. Um, it like really emphasizes the other stats, uh, of course giving you all around bulk. The special defense and the assault vest are actually good for living uh, tech flamethrowers from Muck or Gyarados. <laughs> you guys you guys will see that. Uh, it's helpful for uh, living thunderbolts from Tapu Koko. In fact, I think I eat three of those. Uh, I eat two psychics from uh, Tapu Lele and I knock it out with smart strikes. Uh, Leaf Blade is enough to two-hit KO Tapu Koko. Um, and it's enough to Oko, I think, uh, offensive Tapu Fini. Uh, don't quote me on that. And the speed, of course, is to make sure I outspeed things like uh, Alolan Ninetales and possibly other uh, Kartana. I can knock it out with Night Slash, and the uh, Kartana I can knock out with um, Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword is good because it hits... Uh, <laughs> I can't even speak. It hits... Uh, Arcanine in case I need to make some kind of prediction and it also hits Celesteela uh, after a few boosts Sacred Sword really hits hard so I don't have to worry about uh, defense boosts uh, but yeah and my next Pokemon uh, which I got some I got some weird looks for uh, it's actually a very bulky Talonflame uh, it's <laughs> it's an adamant nature max attack uh, max HP uh, for defense variant with absolutely no speed investment uh, it's Fire MZ. It, the f reason I'm running Fire MZ is because Flare Blitz on its own can't knock out certain Celesteelas. Uh, so yeah, Fire MZ is also really good in case I need to make some kind of prediction. I can just Will-O-Wisp things and boost my attack, so then Flare Blitz Oko Celesteela and maybe some other threats. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. Still slightly, slightly sick. Um, but yeah, Flare Blitz after a Tailwind. Well, yeah, this thing's main deal is let's set up Tailwind with my Gale Wings. Uh, pretty much guaranteeing a Tailwind, actually. You can't stop a Tailwind from a uh, from a Talonflame, unless you're a very fast Whimsicott, because you have priority taunt. But, yeah. Uh, of course, this Talonflame can be hit by Fake Out, even in my Psychic Terrain, which is unfortunate, because it's, it's not touching the ground. Um, but I did need something that didn't touch the ground to make sure my Earthquake doesn't just decimate my own team. But yeah, Flare Blitz, uh, it's really only a, really it's only attack. Uh, Tailwind being able to uh, boost the speed of things like Tapu Lele, uh, Kartana, and Garchomp. And a few other things on my team, I'll go over those later. Uh, or one other thing on my team. Uh, pretty much the, you know, the, the titular Pokemon. Uh, and it also has Taunt for stopping um, Porygon 2. And it also lives a special attack boost to Porygon 2, uh, a Thunderbolt, I believe. Just barely. I can't remember if it was special attack or non-special attack. I made this team such a long time ago that I couldn't remember all the calcs. Um, I can't remember all the calcs, which is why I'm also not going over all of them. And Will-O-Wisp is good for crippling things like uh, Garchomps that predict you to switch out on the Rock Slide. Um, what else? Uh, Non-facade carrying Snorlaxes. Um, Muck. Muck is what I like to burn the most because... Uh, of course, you know, Tapu Lele doesn't like him all that much, and sometimes I'll click Z-Will-O-Wisp on Muck so I can get the attack boost and cripple it at the same time. But yeah, you know, in scenarios where I feel like I don't need Flare Blitz. Also, Flare Blitz Oko's um, non-bulky Tapu Lele, so things like my Tapu Lele or a Choice Scarf variant. Uh, Alright, so next up on the T- also, this thing underspeeds my Tapu Lele. Uh, the commentators in my match noticed that and they thought it was weird, uh, but after- after a Tailwind, it outspeeds everything in the game, uh, barring, like, Choice Scarf. Something, something stupid to a Choice Scarf, like, Choice Scarf Feromosa. But, yeah. Here is what people would argue is the MVP of my team, and one of the strangest picks I have made. Not the strangest, though, because there's one more after this. Uh, this is my Clefable, and it has won me a lot of games on the ladder, and a few in this tournament. Uh, it is just straight up physically defensive, bold, with 4 special defense, 252 HP, and 252 defense, uh, and leftovers. Uh, over the taunt thingy, what's it called, Mental Herb, uh, because 
I really need the leftovers for that residual healing uh, to make sure that I can be as annoying as possible and last as long as I can. Now people didn't really expect this first move, and this first move is like my, ah, this is, they activated my trap card whenever they decide not to attack. Cosmic Power. This thing becomes insanely bulky because of course it's carrying unaware. It doesn't care about other things stat boost. In fact, the reason I ran this is to counter Trick Room Snorlax because I absolutely hated Snorlax. Um, it ran through my team because my team's so insanely fast and I had no way of stopping it, uh, barring a taunt, but even then Snorlax sometimes would get it, uh, Mimikyu sometimes carried things like Mental Herb. So I ended up just making this guy. Uh, of course, with Follow Me, he can redirect all attacks to it and just sponge everything up. He doesn't die. You'll see a match um, that I absolutely loved. Uh, this thing was the MVP. Moonlight, of course, making it even more annoying, making sure that it just stays in the field as long as it needs to. Outstalling certain things that, uh, outstalling things with berries like um, Tapu Fini and uh, Gigalith. Um, sometimes Snorlax if they're not carrying Recycle, which a lot of them do. Um, I have Moonblast, of course, over Protect, uh, because this thing, if it gets taunted, it's absolutely done, and Moonblast is, like, honestly, it becomes an offensive threat when it becomes so bulky that you can't kill it, so I just Moonblast things to death, despite how little damage it does, it'll KO them eventually, um, and yeah. A lot of people were expecting, uh, Magic Guard, and there were some matches where I needed Magic Guard, but in the end, I strongly recommend running Unaware on this thing. Uh, also, something to note, I will make this a QR team for you guys to use. Uh, but yeah, and here is my Galissapod, the man, the myth, the legend, the Galissapod. The thing that only showed up in like one or two matches actually, uh, which upset me because he didn't have many opportunities to shine, but there were definitely a few matches I could have brought him to, but you know, I didn't want to risk it. There were very, there were a lot of safer things I could have brought, but here he is, <coughs> coughing again, I hate it. Um, you know some weird things. Uh, one, it has a Psychic Seed over an Assault Vest, uh, and that's for one particular scenario that I ran into a lot when I was running the Assault Vest. I absolutely need Wide Guard. Uh, it protects... It's another thing that protects my Galissapod from Earthquake, uh, like my own Earthquake, so if I'm next to my own Garchomp, I can just click Wide Guard. Um, when my Garchomp gets knocked out, then I can start attacking, you know, if I end up in that kind of scenario, which I actually ended up in that scenario a lot more than I felt like I should have been, uh, especially when I was laddering. But it's got 252 attack, adamant, um, 52 HP, and 200 speed. Uh, and you might be wondering why 200 speed. Well, that just makes it so I outspeed a lot of threats. Uh, I actually outspeed Tapu Lele under Tailwind, and I outspeed Garchomp under Tailwind because um, Garchomp isn't really a threat to uh, Galissapod. It's so insanely bulky on the physical side that Rock Slides don't do anything to it, and Dragon Claws do even less. And when I mean don't do anything, I mean Rock Slides are going to do like 36 to 40 percent, uh, which is enough for you guys to, if they're low enough, just liquidate them. Or what I prefer to do is Leech Life, because you gain more, uh, you gain enough that you just, you know, beat them in the end. Um, but yeah, and Liquidation is being my main stab move. It's the highest beast fire move it gets. Uh, it's really nice for fighting Celesteela or Porygon 2. Of course, that Psychic Seed is going to boost your special defense, so you eat hits from Porygon 2 as long as uh, you don't end up in the scenario where they're special attack boosted, because then it just nullifies it. Uh, and Poison Jab actually is for beating Tapus. It Okos, Tapu Bulu, it 2-hit KOs, Tapu Lele, and... Uh, well, it 2-hit KOs certain Tapu Leles, and it 2-hit KOs Tapu Finny, uh, and it 2-hit KOs pretty much every Tapu Coco. But if they're weakened, uh, it can pick up a few kills, so if this guy comes in on a Tailwind, they're in trouble. Um, and it's also slow enough that it can function in a Trick Room, uh, so it's a little bit of a Trick Room counter, but not really with all that speed. Uh, emergency Exit is also, also something that's kind of annoying. And my strong recommendation when using this, this is how I play them, uh, keep them in the back. Because it's a real game changer when you have Tapu Lele on the field next to your... Uh, next to your uh, Galissapod, because essentially it just becomes damage the movie. Damage the movie, man. Uh, because one, Galissapod can't be switched out, it has a uh, 50% boost in its special defense, and it's insanely powerful on the physical side. Uh, so it's just, you know, you have a Life Orb Tapu Lele on the right, Galissapod on the left with a special defense boost, and they just go to town on things. Um, and, you know, being the last thing on the field, uh, or one of the last two things in the field nullifies emergency exit so it can no longer be switched out and of course emergency exit was kind of um, It's it's a double-sided coin. Uh, you can switch him in on attacks that uh, you know, he won't die or uh, 
you know he won't die, and but he'll definitely drop below 50%, so you can uh, get a free switch into something else. So that's something I like to do sometimes. Um, but really, he's an end game. He's an end game like cleanup Pokemon. But yeah, uh, this is the team I've been using uh, over the rest of the week. Uh, once again, QR in the description. Uh, and over the rest of the week, I'll definitely be making videos about my run. Uh, I had six matches overall. Yeah, I had six matches. Um, and I think, yeah, I had six matches. And I'm not going to spoil it. You guys know I took fifth. Um, I won't say which ones I won, which ones I lost, or how many I won or lost. I'm pretty sure you can figure it out, though. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of the team, and let me know how well you guys do with the team. Uh, this is sort of like my team of the week, except it's a team report. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it. Everyone have a nice night, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.